First and foremost, I want to convey my condolence to the families of five people that we have lost this evening through a traffic road accident. This is an accident where three participants, participant I mean three vehicles were involved. The first one is a probox. You've seen the registration number of the same. That had five occupants and it was heading to Choska from Kamulu. And the bus also was being driven to the opposite direction. I don't know where the diner truck was coming from, but also that one will be clarified when we complete our investigation. But this is very unfortunate accident. Um, we've lost uh, lives and um, this is worrying. Therefore, um, I, I don't know the, the, the position of the driver of the bus. The bus belongs to KBS, uh, Kenya Bus Services. And the propox, I'm told the owner comes from uh, not far from this place. Therefore, I'm just confirming that we've lost five lives this evening. We are investigating this matter. So you'll give us time. I'm told there are quite a number of people also who have been taken to the hospital. And these are uh, passengers that were in this bus. I've talked to, to two of them, but they are making it very clear that um, the Propox vehicle was on overtaking lane. Therefore, there was a queue of vehicles, and probably the driver was not patient. So when he took the overtaking lane, then unfortunately the bus was very close. That is when they collided head on such an accident. I've been in traffic before. I've never met like this one. This one uh, in Ashanga Sawatu. Um, and um, the story that is coming again is that uh, the owner of the vehicle had been discharged a few minutes ago from hospital. So at Abadali Angeka Hospital in. Therefore, um, Nataka to Kusema Pole Kona Kenya and Bai to Maupotesa was above Yabarabara. Now Nirudu um Naskia happened a black spot. He may call a black spot where so many lives have been lost. We are appealing the responsible authority to come and help us uh, fix uh, um, road pumps and also uh, traffic signs to warn those who are using the road to be careful when using this particular road. When you see the road coming to Kamulu, heading to Joska, it's a very, um, very straight stretch. And when you are a, a driver who is not qualified, to am on a taka where we end katika where kama mia we end mbele, you are very likely to lose your life. So poleni sana, wana injua apa. We want to appreciate everybody who has come here. I, I when I came, I was shocked to see the number of people. Iyo ni kuonyesha kwamba kupatesa maisha eh, ni uchungu sana kwa sisi wote. I want to appreciate sima tungangane paka hata kama usubui to make sure tumaitoa. So asanteni sana nataka kwa shukuru. Na mungu wa wabariki na wabariki sisi wote. Na iyo familia ambayo wamepatesa jamii yao na tumarisala salambirambi yangu. Ma, kwa, kutoka kwa Kenya Police na pia yangu kibinafsi. Okay, ndiyo nime kuambia, staki kuspekulate, tunajua speculation si mzuri. I, I don't know. A statement sikiandikwa, it will really uh, tell us whether there was recklessness, whether there was dangerous driving, whether there was speed, I cannot tell now. But when you see the impact alone, even from the ordinary uh, person can be able to conclude that uh, there was speed. There was speed because the impact, ukiangalia imeingia ndani ya bus. So hiyo impact peke yake ilikuwa heavy, heavy, heavy. Bus ilikuwa inatoka Choska, ikielekea Nairobi through Kamulu. Brobox ilikuwa inatoka Kamulu towards Choska. Hii diner sijui mali imetoka. Ndiyo nasema tutaichungusa. Kwa majina yangu naitwa Joseph Tingonge Ngaroia. Ndiyo nimepatana na ajari hapa. Ajari ambayo imekuwa mbaya sana. Ombi langu kwa serikali ni ya kwamba area hii imekuwa black spot na watu wengi wana kufia hapa 
vizuri tuwekewe bumps ili ya kwamba gari zikikuja hapa zinakuja mwendo wa ambao si wa kasi sana ili tuweze kupunguza mambo ya ajali ya barabara na kwa wale wamepoteza maisha yao nasema pole sana Mungu aweze kufariji jamii ambazo zimepata kupoteza ma, uh, zimepata kupoteza watu wao kuna watoto wameachwa kuna wazazi ambao wameachwa wame kwa hivyo tunaomba kwamba Mungu pa kusema ukweli kama ile mimi nimeshuhudia kwa sababu mimi ni mkaaji wa Joska nimeshuhudia kama ajari kama tano hivi ambazo zimefanyika hapa area hii kutoka uh, kwa mwaka huu zile ambazo nimeshuhudia kwa mwaka huu jina na kama jina naitwa Fred Kalasinga nji wa ama, ama, ama mkaaji wa Joska ile kitu tungeomba serikali itusaidie kwa hii barabara mostly kutoka reflector hapa kuelekea Joska market kuna ajali mingi sana then na, nasema pole kwa wale kwa, kwa wale wapendwa wetu ambao wamepoteswa saidie hata sisi watu wa boda boda hii barabara imekuwa ndogo itupanulie venye ilikuwa ina, venye ilikuwa imeanza kupanua ituweke hiyo barabara imalizie tafadhali tunaiomba hiyo serikali yetu ya Kenya ikipenda tu naitwa Ben Musembi mimi ni niataniyo kingilikuwa nini natoka huko ni hata ni hata kuniyo saidi ni hata nini hizi ni hata nini mabiro zetu huko ni hizi mabiko ni ni alabu sasa mimi nikai ni ingia hii na nikaingia ni ni alabu nikakaa ni ni hapo ni ni hapo na ndele ni hapo ni akiwa hapo ni alabu mimi nikakaa ni ni hapo ni hapo ni huko sasa sisi tukakuja hapa sasa kupika pale hivi hii ni hata hii hii ni ni hii ngale ni ni eh hiyo ni hata ni hata hiyo sasa nikatoka huko juu ni taninie meni ya taninio ni sipiti mingi sana ikao pateki eh asa ni nika kuya ndereba wetu akajaribu ni ni akashika mbureki ngale ni hata ni kaliomba yumba nikamuniambia ni ndereba dushika ni hata steli nyiju hapa ni hata ni ni akuna ni hata ni otherwise sasa hii nao mbato ivunguzi sibiti inakuja kabisa na mangali ni ni hata ni huko simejaa ikakuja hivi sasa ndio ni hata sasa ni hata zikakuja ndereba ni akaniuliza sasa huu nao ni hata ni hata ni nini ndereba nikamwambia wewe na maza shika steli ngitu sasa ndio sasa nini zimekuja zikakuja ni ku nini sikakongana tu eh Mm. Ndiyo ilikuwa ime pate kitu peke yake. Eh. Basi ilikuwa inatoka wapi? Basi tulikuwa twatoka Mala tu tunaenda town. Ilikuwa imejaa. Ah ah ni hata nini ilikuwa tuna watu nini nini hivi ni 15 hivi. Eh.